Shalom. Welcome back. First and foremost, I want to give all glory, praises, and honors to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to you, I can push in his word sincerity and in truth. Back one of the lesson. And this is gonna be real quick, man. Came across this article from the uh the US Sun. And it says, uh, face of God, incredible model shows how Jesus Christ may have looked as hyper realistic sculpture based on the shroud of Turin unveiled. All right. So we're going to get this. Uh, we're going to go into this uh, article, grab some scriptures because, man, hey, these people are through, man. On all levels, these people are through. They're still uh, <laughs> dragging out that old mythical uh, picture, mythical image. Of uh, Cesare Borgia, which is the actual uh, uh, real life person, if you look him up in history, who posed for uh, the painting as uh, this character, Jesus Christ. All right, <clears throat> that's why we, when we uh, talk about the Messiah, we know him as Yahweh Shai in the Hebrew. All right, who was a dark skinned man with woolly hair, and we're gonna prove we're gonna prove that, and we're gonna prove uh, we're gonna pull that scripture. All right, because things like this, it's just laughable right now. If you are an Israelite, a Negro, Hispanic, or Native American, and you look at something like this and you convinced by this, uh, hey, your ass is through, period. So let's get into it. An incredible model showing how Jesus Christ may have looked, have been unveiled in Spain. The hyper-realistic uh, sculpture, which is made of latex, silicon, and, hu and real human hair. <laughs> has been based on the data collected from the famous Shroud of Turin. All right. And this is what they put up. This is the image from the Renaissance period. Basically, this is the same image, man. They always have uh, this character looking like this. All right. But that does not match what the description says in the Holy Bible. Uh, and they got them all laying up there with the... Uh, <laughs> with the... Man, the hair is just throwing me off, man. It's like you. They got him laying here with the with the wounds. It says the lifelike model even features all the wounds said to have been inflicted on the Messiah, including cuts uh, to its head, where the crown of thorns is uh, said to have been forced uh, down upon his head. Sculpture, which weighs 165 pounds and is five foot ten, also features the wound inflicted on. Uh, Jesus side by the holy lance and the numerous scratches on his body. He is said to have sustained after Pilate ordered him to be whipped and mocked. Uh, the, uh, the Turin shroud first mentioned in 1534 has baffled scholars through, through the ages. Some believe the mysterious relic is bloodstained uh, burial cloth of Jesus after his crucifixion, while others have argued that it is an elaborate fake and it is fake, man. The Messiah did not look like this because the scriptures does not back up uh, these images that you see uh, on the screen right now. So let's go into it. Let's start with 2 Corinthians uh, 10 and 4. And this is a basic lesson, but we do these lessons for a reason. All right. We do it for the new believers. All right. And we do it uh, for people that might hear this video off the cuff to really break down uh the, 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 the false narrative that has been put out. Second Corinthians 10 and 4. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the most high to the pulling down of strongholds. And that image right here is a mighty stronghold. Uh, when you see anybody that looks like this, they think of what? They think of the Messiah written in the Bible, which is completely uh, a sickening if you actually ponder on it, man. This is how greater job these devils did with pushing this image man they did an excellent job of uh of pushing this image all right let's see if there's anything else they got no it's the same picture all right But let's go back. It says, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of the most high and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of the anointed. 
right? So we here to cast down those imaginations, man, those high and lofty thoughts, those big lies that Esau Edom has pushed into the world. And this is one of the major number one lies, man. All right. Major number one lies. This shroud of Turin and that uh, these people. Right. Are the chosen people. You even got Kanye West, man. They're going to hey, don't be surprised if this guy end up missing or completely if something happens to him because he's not stepping down. Are backing off on his uh, uh, on his on what he's saying about the small hats, man. All right, and how they run and uh, run everything and are corrupt. You see, and really he don't want to come out and flatly say it, which we've been saying it, man. We got the balls to say it. All right, those people are fraudulent. We are the true uh, Israelites of the Bible, the true uh, uh, Jews of the Bible. All right, we are, but uh. Let's go back. Let's get this in 1 Maccabees 3 and 48. It says, And laid open the book of the law, wherein the heathen had sought to paint the likeness of their uh, images. And this goes back to the days of the Maccabees. All right? So this is nothing new. When you look, when you look up Paul, Peter, King David, uh, Solomon, uh, whoever you can think of in the Bible. You type it into Google, guess what? An image like this is going to come up, man. And people take that, take whatever pops up as the truth, as doctrine, as, uh, oh, well, Google and the computer says these people look like this. What are you talking about? Right? So we know that the heathen, the non-Israelites, uh, even back then and even now, continue to do that. All right? They continue to put their faces up as though... Hey, they are the people, they are the chosen, and they have the right hey, to run rough shot over the earth, which they don't. Which is why Yahweh Shemuel Shai is going to bring these people down. He's going to keep pushing these judgments. All right. And you're going to see major destruction come to the world, man. Nuclear destruction. And you're going to see deliverance at the same time. Right. Uh, so let's get to the, the main uh, <laughs> the main dish. Revelation 1. And 13. Right? So let's actually let's start at 1 and 1. Revelation 1 and 1, and we're going to jump down. The revelation of Yahweh Shai, which the Most High gave unto him to show unto his servants things uh, which must shortly come to pass, he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. So this is the revelation of Yahweh Shai. Verse 13 In the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment, down to the foot and gird about the paps with a golden girdle, right? Describing his garment, his clothing. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So this is uh, the image of the Lord, man. Where's the white woolly hair? Where's the woolly con uh, texture? All right. How about that? That's, all right. Where's the wool uh, texture? This is stringy hair like a dog right here, man. This is stringy hair like a dog. All right. And there's so many uh, scriptures dealing with color, especially dealing with the southern kingdom. All right. The house of Judah. Uh, this does not add up, man. This does not add up. Let's go back. His hair, his head and his hair were white like wool, as white as snow. His eyes were as a flame of fire. Uh, his feet like unto fine brass as if they burned in a furnace. So he had a dark complexion, burn brass and uh, complexion. All right. So <laughs> who, who who is this guy, man? Who the hell is this guy? That should be uh, what pops into your head, man. That should that should be what, what pops into your head. All right. Even uh, just common sense to tell you. You got some a guy looking like this over in the uh, uh, Middle East, so to speak, right in Jerusalem, when they didn't have uh, a a a uh, you see these crackers now, man, <laughs> with red uh, crab-like skin, man, from being in the sun too long. All right, Th those people aren't built for this climate. All right, those people aren't built for that climate. All type of uh, sun cancer would be happening. Let's uh, let's keep going. It says, and his feet like unto fine brass, 
as if they burn in a furnace, and his voice is the sound of many waters. Right? So you take anything you put in the furnace, it's going to get darker, man. It's not going to get lighter. All right? So them rolling this back out. <laughs> At this time, man, it's because they, you know, the narrative is getting away from him, man, on, on what the Lord truly looked like. And it wasn't and it wasn't this guy, man. It was not this guy. Let's see if this thing play. Well, anyway, it's not playing. But anyway, that's the point of the lesson. I just wanted to go on that real quick. Uh, dealing with something basic as color because uh, you still got simple Jake will see this and and be uh, being awestruck man and really believe that you still got Jake to this day they got this guy hanging in their living room man all right and when they pass the picture you know they making the a they making that a the sign of the cross and all this and all that all right so we put these videos out why to destroy uh, the big lie, all right, that has been pushed out throughout the earth, who these people truly are, all right? And with that, I want to say shalom to next time.